spring splits. I had a super seeder cell in one of these hives several days ago, and the rain has kept me out of the hive. Um, I ended up putting a, another deep on there just hopefully to keep them from swarming on me. Not sure if that's worked out or not. I'm about to open it up and see if I can't split these guys up into a couple of those nuke boxes I built. Let me get this thing broken apart and we'll look and see where we are. <coughs> okay, here we are looking down at that second deep. I had that first deep that's got those plastic frames on them and I never seem to have much luck getting them to draw those out. More just stuck them in there so that I didn't get a mess of random comb built up everywhere. I don't entirely remember which frame the super procedure cell was on, so we're going to just kind of start taking it apart and take a look. Um, as you can see, I'm running a little bit late today. So we're kind of in a race. This is not the best time to do this, but I'm a little worried about when my next best time is going to be, so we'll see how this goes. Well, it turns out that top box was not the one with the swarm cell I was thinking of. There is actually a little swarm cell at the bottom of oh, that frame. Um, it's not populated yet, though, so I'm going to come back out hopefully this weekend. See if uh, maybe it's got an egg in there that we can make a split off of that one. About to go ahead and fill this feeder up because they're going to need it anyway because the weather's going to cool off and get rainy. And go into that bottom box and see what we got. All right, here we are looking down at the bottom brood box. See, I got a bunch of ridge burk home scrape off of there. As you can see down in there, these suckers do not draw those plastic frames out on this. Well, they've got a little bit over here. But they just don't seem to like them so well. So let me take this sucker apart and see if that's where we're kind of running out of daylight. Here, we have a little super seizure cell there. Um, honestly, what I get for waiting until so late in the evening, to do that, I can't really see what's up there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the truck right up the hill there. Let's see if I have that flashlight in there. Let's get in there real quick. Right back. Alright, so here's what we got. See if I can do this all here. And uh, there is larvae up in that queen cell. As you can see, not what I would call the best laying pattern in the world. I'm guessing that that super seizure cell is the queen and is not doing her due. I think I'm going to err on the cautious side unless I find another one. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that one there because it looks like this may just be nature taking its course. You can see I've got cat brood and some of the frames in the top box definitely look better than this one but it's not the best looking pattern in the world so we keep looking through there. Alright here's looking down in the second box. Um, I'm about out of daylight. I'm probably an idiot for doing this. But I'm out here, so I reckon I might as well finish it up. I don't want them to swarm on me, so if that cell's capped, I need to go ahead and split them off, I think. So let me go ahead and break into there and we'll take a look at what we have. I'm not sure how well until I put the light on there. You can see a pretty good number of bees down in there. I don't see any cells right there, but you can look down in there, that's looking down into that bottom deep there. Let me go ahead and uh, finish busting this apart. Alright, here we go. One, two, three of those. I see a larva. I'm not sure if that's going to focus, but there's one in there. Um, reasonably sure there's one in there, and I think I see one in there. I'm going to shine that light in there here and just take a look and see what I have. All right, after looking in there with the light, I'm sorry I couldn't hold it in, hold the frame in, hold the phone. Looks like those are just polished in there. They're nice and shiny, but I don't see larvae down in there. So I'm going to leave those there for now because they need an egg in there before I can split them, I think. All right, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but they're actually covering it a bit. Let me see if I can set this frame up so I can get a light out here. Smoke on there, so if I can move those bees off of that, there's. Well, I'm not sure what to. There we go. Check it up. These are facing sideways. Um, they look like queen cells, but they're facing their own way. 
I'm not sure what those little dudes are. So if you happen to know, post a comment down below. Let me know. I'm going to leave them there for now until I get an answer. Um, then I'll take a look and see the pattern there while we're looking. There's a the pattern. There's a whole lot of larvae down in there that they're busy capping off. We keep going from the light. Alright. As uh, Barney would say, clean up, clean up. Everybody do this year. So, obviously I need to do a little bit of scraping down here. Um, they've been going a little crazy. Looks like, yeah, some of these frames have dropped down there into the box somehow. Maybe they're not quite the spec, I guess. Let me, uh, See if I can't clean this up and get in there. All right, it is definitely darker than I have any business being in here. But if you can see it, she's got a good pattern going. I'm uh, almost to the end of this box and have not seen that cell. So I'm thinking it's in this one right here is that empty cell or the one that actually had larvae in earlier that I'm thinking I might need because that pattern's so rough over there. All right, those guys are back together. Um, all in all, certainly not what I was hoping for but as you can see I had to move quickly um, because I was completely out of daylight so anytime you have to break out the flashlight I'm sorry nocturnal beekeeping does not seem like a good idea so um, we'll take a look another time you can see where I have some upset bees at me there down there at the bottom and anyway um, thanks for watching we'll try this again hopefully this weekend Weather's supposed to warm up a little bit, and well, hopefully not rain long enough I can get out there and take a proper look, see if I can't find my queen, and if I'm really lucky, have some eggs and some cells that I can split off into my other hives. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you click subscribe.